Let me introduce myself. My name is Pascal Picard. At age 13, my dad showed me my first chords, and from that moment on, I was hooked. I was born a shy girl, never imagining I'd become a singer. But my guitar quickly transformed from a mere hobby into a refuge. As I grew, my musical talent flourished, and I ventured onto the local stages. It was a struggle clutching my guitar like a shield. Thankfully, my voice compensated for my stage fright. As time passed, confidence bloomed, and my original songs found their place in my performances. Before I knew it, people were asking for them. Then, something unexpected happened. My demo ended up in the right hands, and voila, I had a record deal. My first album, Me, Myself and Us, was released in 2007, and one of my songs started getting radio airplay. Suddenly, my music was being heard by millions of people all over the world. Notre invité du jour, Pascal Picard. Bonjour. Welcome to the Pascal Picard Band in New York City. I was now in the public eye, and I remember feeling like everyone was watching me. I traveled the world, sold hundreds of thousands of records, and had a life that many dream of. It was a wild and exciting time. The pace was relentless, and everything seemed to be moving at the speed of light. It was exhilarating, but also exhausting. Life in the spotlight was a constant whirlwind of shows, promotion, and expectations. The pressure to deliver, to maintain the success, was sometimes overwhelming for the little girl that I was. And while on the surface, it may have seemed like a dream come true, deep down, I often felt like I was losing myself in the chaos. The truth is, that kind of lifestyle is unsustainable. The constant demands, the lack of privacy, and the expectation took their toll on me. It was physically and emotionally draining. I longed for a sense of normalcy, for moments of peace and solitude. 